Welcome back everybody. Chris is here. You are here. Friendly Frenzy Games is here. Back again with another tape to tape episode. This is going to be, I believe, the third, fourth, probably the fourth in the Achievement Progress series that we've been kind of working on for tape to tape here. Going to hop right back into it, replicating much of the same. Um, we are going to boot up some more casual playthroughs here, just systematically picking off whatever superstars we have not completed this game with yet. Um, a really good opportunity to kind of showcase these guys and their abilities, see whether or not it's worth it for you to spend your hard-earned rubber. Also kind of thinking long-term in terms of putting together your ideal expert team. You can really kind of get a sense of how these guys play, if they suit your play style, if you think um, they might be worth it to use come that... Um, ever so tricky expert playthrough so again if you were with us last video thank you very much we have now purchased everything that's available for purchase we've maxed out angus we've bought all the skills we've bought all the superstars so rubber really doesn't mean anything to us anymore um, not until there's more in this game to actually do so we don't care so much about rubber accumulation again the difference between easy and expert really doesn't um, there is literally no difference between the amount of rubber that you're able to accumulate. So if you are looking to farm easy stuff here, definitely recommend you do it on casual because it is still a very fun playthrough here just to test some things to see how well they work. Um, so we'll start into this fresh run here. Between these three, we're definitely picking Magnet. We got the yo-yo goal last time, so nice to have that one off our list. We've got two players here that we have not won with before. We've won with Cam, um, Cam Amber, obviously. We've not won with Chloe Crockett, and we've not won with Buckwurst. Um, I think with this one here, let's get um, Chloe off the board. She's very balanced, obviously doesn't have a talent here, or sorry, doesn't have a skill or an ability, but very talented, um, very balanced attributes here. 63 speed, really good accuracy, balanced checking and shot power, so an all-around good player. I don't know exactly if she comes preloaded with talents. I feel like usually when they don't have a skill, um, they do, so we'll have to see what she has. Obviously, you can see we have decent bench warmers. They're balanced in everything but speed here, so speed is going to be a priority, obviously, going forward. Um, we will make sure that Stu is our winger, I think at least until we can get some speed on Ricky, and then with his 41 accuracy, we'll probably move him up in the lineup, but we'll have to see how we go here. Bench warmers, um, getting double attributes from training. Let's go, Rubber Idol. The other two I wouldn't even bother looking at, but Rubber Idol is a fantastic place to start. Again, obviously with this one, it's gonna be huge. We aren't going to play so much to talents, I think, with this one. We'll have to see how that works out for us. Again, we don't need to accumulate rubber, so that already eliminates one of the kind of main reasons of doing these challenge games. Obviously, with this one, we have to start the run with the challenge game. We don't really have a choice, but hopefully rip through this one relatively quickly, go down to the camp and use our rubber idol. Should be able to ba um, balance everybody's attributes pretty quickly here. Again, I forgot to double check our lineup and see obviously we have Kowalski as our other winger here I don't know what his stats were and I also want to double check and see what Chloe's bringing to the table here knowing that she doesn't have a skill so we'll see what we get for a talent we get three rubber but again it doesn't matter um, let's do curveball we'll put it on a defender right now again the idea right now is to move Stu Stumple off the line but at the same time, maybe we'll put we'll put this on Kirby right now. He's got 41 accuracy from the line. I'm pretty sure accuracy helps with curveball. Um, he's a defender right now, so we're not going to rely on him too too much. But when he does get a chance to come up in the play, maybe we can get some kind of unexpected goals there. So let's just pop into the lineup really quickly here. We see Stu has the highest overall. We're going to just put him as our winger. He's got a little less accuracy. Actually, he's got a little bit more accuracy than Freddy does, and he's faster. So we just have to worry about our speed on defense, but it's not really a big deal. Stu also has really high checking, really good shot power too, considering this is just the start of the playthrough. Chloe actually has a good couple of defensive talents. She's got deflective, um, defensive deflect, x-ray shot is really good, and then passes can't be intercepted. So we have not actually seen this as something that we can pick up. So maybe it's specific to Chloe, Cro 
Crockett. That's awesome. The defensive deflect, obviously we aren't going to have her as a defender, so we're not going to need her to deflect too, too much, but on the odd chance she's able to get in the lane, that's going to be super cool. But the pass talents are awesome, knowing that she can't be intercepted. Anything pass related, we're definitely going to put on her because again, if she can't have her passes intercepted, anything she tries to do is going to go through. Obviously with this one, again, rubber idol, we don't get the bonuses from overall, but we do get double bonus attributes from training. So not resting, but training. So let's double up our speed here. Everybody's going to get plus eight, plus an additional eight if you're a bench warmer here. So not going to affect our superstars, but we needed speed desperately. And our bench warmer should be in a pretty good state already in terms of speed. We should now no longer have any red stats, which is going to be awesome moving forward here, especially because speed very um, is very important as you progress through these um, games here. It just really does open up a lot of possibilities for you on offense, but on defense also, especially in the final games against um, golfers. So you can see that one almost trickled through there. That would have been a pretty bad start. Chloe Crockett, nice just little shot there. Nothing fancy with her. Again, she doesn't have any talents or anything on right now. It's just gonna be primarily attribute based. Still wanna see how quickly we can tear these games up though tear up this entire playthrough again we're not going to focus too too much on talents because i don't want to spend time in challenge games now if we don't have to we're already not getting the rubber from it so we will see definitely going to make it probably a little plainer playthrough but we'll have to see raw attributes are honestly really fun too but it definitely makes it more of an nhl feeling game than it does a tape to tape feeling game just because it really truly is the talents that give this game its shine but We'll see how we go. We're still gonna get talents, it's just I don't know if I wanna go out of my way to get them if we have the opportunity to continue boosting attributes through camp. You see we got kind of leveled by the goalie there. Stu though, ooh, ooh, okay. I was pretty upset that Stu wasn't able to collect his own rebound. He's very good for flicking uh, soft shots off the goalie and getting rebounds on those. We got really lucky that Angus was able to clean that up. Chloe and Angus were following each other in the corner there. Didn't really give us too much of an option. You can see that one kind of came out high and wide. Have to see. I think, I remember at the end of last episode, I was talking about the achievements that we have left to get. I thought that I had the last one except for just completing the game with every superstar, but there is one that we are missing called uh, Balanced Offense, I think it is, where we have to get a goal with each player on the ice. So we'll see if we can kind of pick that up through these playthroughs here. Obviously getting a goal with your defenders are a lot harder, especially too. I mean, it's pretty easy to mercy on casual and that's essentially only four goals if they don't score one. So we'll have to see here. It's gonna mean that we're getting a minimum five goals. So it'd be a little easier to do obviously on a boss game since the mercy is six. Um, very unlikely to happen in elite games if it's going to happen at all though we already have two with chloe crockett so likely not happening in this one but i guess you never really know just something to be mindful of as we continue to plug away here though can i try and keep it in the back of my mind and see if we can kind of balance out these goal getters but at the same time i really am just trying to play through these as quickly as possible to see how much we can pack into these episodes here to uh, diversify, diversify content just a little bit. Be really sweet to work in three full playthroughs in an episode, but I find it highly unlikely that we're gonna be able to rip through these long enough and keep it kind of in and around two hours. But again, you never really know. It's our first elite game done in under 10 minutes. So that's pretty sweet, 17 shots. I don't really like any of these, but let's get, what do we want, shot power? Do we need shot power? Yeah, we'll put it on Kowalski, shot power, because he's at 23 here. So he's going to get five per win. Again, we're going to lose that with... Uh, I'll do a challenge game just because I don't want the events. Honestly, I would rather take a couple extra seconds in um, doing a challenge game to give us some control over the talent as opposed to really risking things on an event. So um, I won't be doing challenge games, though, if we have the option for a camp though so we can continue to boost our attributes here. So we crock it again, have a nice solid chance there. Throw it to Angus, he ripped it, but that got closed. Chloe again, nice shot. Nice shot again, nice shot again, nice shot again. 
We used Magnet here on Angus. You can see it kind of pulled the, the puck towards him there. Kind of acts like rebound Magnet. Again, too, because his checking's a little um, a little better than the majority of our other players. If he has Magnet, as long as he doesn't get knocked down, he's not going to lose the puck. So makes him pretty clutch in um, situations where people are going to clog the lane. Peter's going to clog the lane. We have 17 shots in just kind of a minimal amount of time. We're going to do even Steven again, and we are going to put it on... Here we do. Let's put it on Angus. We can afford to lose 10 overall on him, and then if we get an additional 30 overall when things are tied up, that's going to be huge. But again, he has far and away the um, highest overall to start. So if we're going to lose 10 overall from leading or losing, we can afford it on him. With this one, we should have a pretty balanced bench by the time everything is all said and done. So it shouldn't matter too much. And if it's going to make him better, has the potential to make him better or gives us the opportunity to kind of come away with a lead relatively early in these games. It's something that's going to be super helpful. You can see Chloe Crockett, even with um, not having many uh, shooting abilities, like she does have the defensive deflect, she does have x-ray shots, but x-ray shots hasn't really come too much into play. She hasn't been shooting through people. She's just had a couple of solid shots on net. Again, her balanced attributes are really helping though. Just getting some really good opportunities on net there. Nice, plain, clean goals. Gets Stu up involved. He did not make that one, though. Usually he's got some pretty clutch shots, too. Really well, really well balanced bench warmer more often than not. Going to put Magnet on just because we can, but we got a poke checked away. So good to see that that does not count. Or Magnet doesn't work through poke check, something that we would have known otherwise. Ooh, a couple of chances there. Good initial shot by Angus. Just kind of kicked it towards the net afterwards to Chloe. Spring her again. Definitely thought we had the goalie there. On essentially a no-angle shot, we were able to get the puck across the line there. So she's coming out to be pretty clutch, honestly. She's got uh, two goals already. Might experiment with putting Angus on the wing again. I feel like... He gets a lot more of a chance getting involved in the play, getting some scoring opportunities when he's wing as opposed to center. So that might be something that we mess with for a little bit. We'll have to see. Again, obviously, it's nice to have somebody with balance checking, speed, shot power come back on defense to help out a little bit. But uh, Stu's just kind of lacking right now. Even though for a bench warmer, honestly, he is still pretty good. It's just I wonder if we might get a little bit more production or quicker production if we were to move Angus to the wing. You see Stu kind of just chilling out over here. Angus is a little further away than we wanted him to be there. So that's something that we might exper experiment with for next game. 16 to 11. I did not think that shots would have been that close, but they are what they are. Shot from Angus. Thank you very much, sir. And that is enough for another quick mercy here. Again, you can see you don't really necessarily need talents to win this game or to play through these runs successfully. You just really kind of put a little bit of a plan together. So we have the opportunity for a remarkable rock, and as kind of chancy as that is, I'm feeling kind of chancy right now. We're feeling like we're rolling right now. Briefcase would be super ideal to get just in case somebody does get the first goal on us. We can take it away because two goal deficit isn't the easiest to come back from necessarily. It's, I mean, even though it is on casual, you never really know how it's going to go. Um, we have shot power here, or sorry, checking. Again, I'm not huge on checking, but I would rather 16 overall um, on our bench warmers as opposed to kind of putting three in each. So we'll take that. It's gonna bump. It's gonna bump our overalls even quicker here. Continue to round out this team's overall approach. Pop into this officials boss game here. Hopefully, not regret the first goal of the game. Um, remarkable rock, but again, I feel like we've been ripping pretty quick. They're going to call this one back, I think. Yes, they are. So again, always nice to get that off the board quickly. You still never really know when they're going to use it, but uh, they remembered to use it this time, so that's going to be erased. And we 
know for sure that that takes away our full two goal lead there. Uh, we got a little too far past the net to make that rebound really count, but felt pretty good about that one. Ooh, that was a bad pass. Oh, we almost got a nice little chance out of Angus there. Flatten him. Oh, there we go. I can see that one. We had a lot of space there. Gonna, that one's going to count for two. The two goal lead on these guys here. Going to go to Angus. Chance, chance. Stu here to clean up the garbage. So that's nice. Oh, it was Angus who got that. I definitely thought that was Stu. Maybe it went off Angus's foot. The only thing that we really need now is obviously continue if anything for speed, but we would also really appreciate a whistle of time, and that'll make this uh, this run just kind of chug along very quickly. Ooh, very good chance there. We're up to four nothing on the officials in this first period here. A couple of really quick goals. It would be five nothing if it wasn't for them taking away that first goal, but not a problem. Don't know what happened there. Don't know how that uh, got stuck and then tripped the whole team out, but. The goalie let that one out, or let that one in, I would have retired. Could not squeeze by that last defender. Getting a good chance, good chance. Tried to flat Gideon mustache there, did not go. That lob pass is always interesting. It always makes it look like it's going to go in, but uh, always looks like it's just enough to fool the goalie. Ooh, got a chance, got another good chance. Chloe Crockett is. Very smooth. I like it. There we go. Is that five now? Five. Oh, flattened her. Didn't mean to do that. There's hats everywhere. Oh. That ref just almost hand passed it in twice. Stu, little, little chance there. Looked like it almost got stuck on the hat, but almost slapped the hat into the net. Oh, that one almost booted out to Chloe. That would have been cool. They're using magnet, but it doesn't pull it off the people's stick. It has to be loose for it to be attracted to, to Angus, so that's good to know, too. Oh. Uh, ooh, almost got that. Almost got that. Tried to pull the goalie side to side. Didn't work. Oh, if that would have rebounded out, we might have been able to bury that and get out of this one in just one period, but we're going to have to play, I would imagine, at least a little bit of the second here. 22-2 to two for shots. Not a bad day's work for a first period. Flip this one back. Angus could not corral that. It's going to go right into the goalie. Force him to make a play, but he doesn't. He holds on to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A couple of bad passes there. Nice check by Kirby. Chloe again. Felt pretty good about that shot. Was not able to go short side. Nice shot from Chloe again. Goalie's still too scared. Just going to hang on to it. Make us play a little longer than we want to in this game. Ooh, that one, if it didn't go into the leg, it would have been pretty, pretty smooth sail in there. Angus, good slap. Probably could have just wristed that. There we go. Angus with four goals. Him and Chloe putting on a show this time. Quick second period exit in the first boss game. So in just under 20 minutes, we were able to make it. Oh, easy. this is easy. Whistle of time for sure. So again, we are going to have the game go down twice as fast as long as we're able to be in the lead. But... Another run here where we are sub 20 minutes in the first kind of um, act. So super stoked for the pace of this one here. See if we can shorten it even more now with Whistle of Time. Should make everything much quicker. Obviously remarkable goal. We are pretty much on pace with having as quick a run through as we could. We just need, ooh, we're gonna miss that talent there. They had a nice little slap shot that trickled through. No worries there. Again, we aren't really focused on talents. Obviously, any additional one is nice to have, but we're not super focused on this one. We should be lined up fine to be able to have um, our attributes carry us through here. 
gonna again train shot power because overall we're not gonna get the same level of bonuses there and let's just hop into this game against princesses or princess I guess the team's called tried to turn magnet on right away but it does not help you win a face off nice little chance there Stu nice little chance there Again, we got to remember with this one to try and make plays a little further away from the net because they're going to be closing out or using that fart. Um, makes it pretty hard to get anything really going in front of the net there. Chloe, don't want to take it in too, too close, but that was enough to rip it. Again, a remarkable rock is turning that first goal into two. Get a nice little early boost, and our whistle is going to enact now. So the game is going to tick down even quicker. Double the speed. Whoa. Oh, we missed that. Come on. We can chuck it out. Nice little chance there from Chloe. Again, we're in tight, so not likely going to do anything, but... Gonna run. Ooh, I want to run him over, but... Did not work. Got in a little closer than I wanted. They didn't fart cloud me though, so it doesn't really matter, but they did do that one. You can see how quickly we're taken down here. Oh, didn't mean to flatten my own person, but it is what it is. Little propeller head guy there. 10 to 2 for shots. Continue ripping through here. Okay, didn't win that face off either, so. Basically, sign of the times. Oh, that one, the ref screwed us. Okay, it's a wet one. Oh. Nice little deflection there, but Gould still read that, no problem. Good thing Whistle of Time is helping us out here right now because even with the chances that we've been getting, nothing has been all that spectacular. Again, got a miss there. Able to get a cool little speedy angle there. They screwed that shot up for us though. Nice one for Chloe again. Let me just put Magnet on to try and not lose his puck. You can see that the goalie bit it pretty hard if it was to go to that other side, but it did not. Play. So this one ended up going the distance. A good thing, Remarkable Rock was worth two just to give us that additional padding there. But Whistle of Time is really the hero in that game. Um, we're going to get a bigger um, boost with Home Wrecker being 30 checking as opposed to 20. So let's go ahead and put this on. It's going to automatically seek to hit players without the puck in the defensive zone. Let's put this on our fastest defender here. He's already got 45 checking. Kowalski has 67, so he doesn't need more of a boost really there. Going to go ahead and again train accuracy to all players, so that's nice. Going to get a 16 boost and an 8 boost. So you can see we've got some relatively high overalls already, our lowest being 48 here, but we are chipping our way through. Pop into this Crusaders game nice and quickly here. Again, having something that's going to boost your overall attributes at the very beginning of this makes it so much easier and so much quicker to be able to just kind of rip through this playthrough. All of a sudden, we are, you know, kind of a little over halfway through Act 2 already. And uh, we've been in Act 2 for essentially, you know, five minutes. And uh, that's without any mercies. So, Whistle of Time, super helpful when you're trying to just kind of speed run through this. Remarkable Rock, it's a chancy play. It's either going to bury you or it's going to work out really nicely in your favor. But uh, Whistle of Time is super helpful. Again, attributes, if you can kind of skip talent games and just really kind of load your team up on pure stats at the camp, super helpful. So again, a rubber idol or a uh, can of worms for pumping Angus. Got Rob there, it was a nice opportunity. Got that other rebound kind of taken from us there. Chloe Crockett's loading up here, wants that. Ooh. Got to make sure we can get ahead of this guy and check him. There we go. Angus coming from behind. Nice boot burst of speed there. Chloe Crockett wanted that rebound opportunity. Could not get it. There we go. Check him through the boards. 
Angus just putting on a show right now. Prince, I don't know if he wants some too. The guy's ballsy though. <coughs> Flattened, yeah. Elbow right to the head, shoulder. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. that was a good deflection though. We are flattening all of their players right now. Gotten a lot of shots, a lot of hits on these guys right now. Still looking for that ever important first goal here. Can't get it, but we are trying. Remarkable rock. Don't want to give up the first one here, so we're just going to keep shooting. Got lots of... Ooh, ooh, that one sucks. Checking, checking. So this is where it gets a little dicey because we're going to obviously we have remarkable puck or remarkable rock going into the second period. We definitely don't want to give up the first goal in the second period because we're going to have very little time to get a two goal, um, uh, basically a, a one goal lead. We're going to have to essentially score three if we don't want it to go into overtime. So very important, more important now than ever that we get the first goal of the game. We've been trying. They've only shot three times. We've done a pretty good job keeping the print out of the play. Done a really good job in general just checking these guys and making sure that they don't have an off an opportunity for this. But you can see here we know we've got to clean up some of the rebounds, try and get a chance, but the deflecting is just very hard to overcome sometimes. Chloe, nice check. The speed is definitely helping here, getting us getting us these opportunities. Try it. Ooh. I just wanted a light one to try and get a rebound there, but we didn't need it. Skip through the legs there, five hole. I, uh, we will take that all day. So now we have a two goal lead. We're going to enact the whistle now, which is awesome. That one's up over the glass. Prince is taking this face off, so he's not in a position to take a one timer, which is nice. Because it's really hard to stop. You basically have to win the face off at that point. Got a nice little quick one there from Angus. We might end up after all that mercy in these guys. We'll see how we go. Oop, good shot. But they killed us. Prince lights out. Back up to Angus. Oh, let's do Chloe. Nice shot. And let's get out of here. Nice. So we saved ourselves a couple of seconds here on this game. Hat trick for Chloe Crockett. Some more rubber that there's nothing really to do with now. 20. Okay, here we go. Briefcase. I don't like the other two anyways, but briefcase is super nice. Just as that little bit of added insurance there, hopefully as um, always here as our last couple of runs anyways, hopefully we can take this into the game against the golfers. We haven't needed to use it, I don't think. I think we did maybe use it once just because, but uh, it hasn't really been a game breaker for us. It's just nice to have that added insurance should we run into issues kind of down the stretch. Don't want to play for an hour and not be able to get anywhere. So it's always nice to have that little bit of added insurance. It's going to be the second straight talent that we have lost on just two very, very weak goals that our goalie cannot, cannot kind of corral here. Again, doesn't really matter. Um, we are going a very attribute heavy game this time, or a very attribute heavy um, playthrough. Again, checking, not my favorite stat to boost, but it's hard to pass up an 8 and 16 boost for our guys here, so. See how we fare against the Cup Cultists. Very nice to know, though, that you can win if you go kind of attribute heavy or if you go talent heavy. And, I mean, mixing it up is completely viable also. So glad that there's more than just one way to win in this game because, I mean, we kind of take all the fun out of it, honestly, anyways. A nice little opportunity there, split the D up. Angus was able to flatten a couple of people there. Nice chance from Chloe. Again, they have greasy sticks, so every time we slap, we're going to be losing it here. Ooh. Ooh, gotta, gotta watch Calvin, because his accuracy is lights out. So, really don't want him getting these rebound opportunities here. Nice chance again. Oh, that one went through us, I don't know how. Nice check by Kirby on Kelly Jelly, making that one incomplete. Put Magnet on right now, but we got flattened, so we're gonna lose the puck anyways. Chloe Crockett, that was enough of a check to kind of make sure that they weren't able to bring that puck up ice. Really trying again, as always, for the first goal of the game here. That's Chris Caltus. I guess pretty tight. He likes to score a lot of weak ones too. Again, just lost the puck. Ooh. Come on, Kirby. Really looking for somebody with high shot power here to be able to get a nice little quick wrister in, so we don't lose just like that. So we don't lose our stick. Try not to slash out against the, the Cub Cultists. 
That way you can hold on to your stick. Again, you're really just looking for somebody with high shot power and obviously decent accuracy here. Even if they get one on us, um, we have Remarkable Rock, obviously, that's going to work wonders. And our whistle is going to continue to just tick down time here. So even if we can't mercy these guys, we are getting a relatively quicker um, kind of matchup. Chloe was in the lane and decided she didn't want the puck. Not sure what happened with that, but I have to talk to her about that one. These guys are just trying to complete one-timers with slap shots. I wish they would just go to a wrist shot because we keep blowing our sticks up. Kelly Jelly with a weak little one there trying to drown our goalie. Not going to happen. So one period, 2 nothing. We had 19 shots, so a lot of opportunities there. Essentially really only one goal, but again, Remarkable Rock helping us out here, counting it for two. Oh, didn't expect that pass to come back out to me already. Wow, he got leveled. Angus. Nope. Really want to mercy this one and just keep chugging along in this playthrough, but even still though, half an hour and we are on the second boss game. Pretty, pretty good. We should be able to finish this run up in under an hour, which is kind of always what we're aiming for here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking Eagle Calvin. Oh, Chris Caltus is, again, tight too, though. The magnet on Angus. I I slapped it. But uh, sometimes that's what you need to do to be able to pick the corner. I would just recommend not slap shotting up close. I mean, you probably shouldn't be doing that anyways, but it's really kind of disadvantageous to you, if that's a word. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, we got really lucky. That rebound was almost super sweet. Kind of able to just split the defenders there. I did not want it to come back. I wanted it to go across to Chloe, but Angus had other plans. He's taking this face off sideways until he's not. Flat. Oh, bad hit. That one's a rockage. Go, Chloe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That scared me. Chloe again. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay, beat that puck up. We go into the third period here. What do we got? 3 0, 27 5 for shots. Sounds not bad to me. Win that face off. Super sweet. Oh, God. Calvin's here again. Oh, no, that's Rory. I keep screwing that up. Oh yeah, Calvin is out on the ice though. What up, Stu? Oh, I slapped it. Shouldn't have. I got in probably a little closer, but again, he doesn't have the shot power that I should really be slap shotting with anyways, because his slap shots aren't going to be all that great. I'm trying to take Calvin out of it, but we're too weak to check him. Missed that check too. Thought we would have flattened him. I got magnet on now, so unless they can check me flat, we're not going to lose it. But again. He's done again already. Nice tomahawk by those guys there. Would have been sweet if the magnet made me invulnerable. I'm not sure why I tried to use it that way. Took that option away. There we go. Chloe Crockett one on one with Rory. Oh, oh. Nope. Couldn't get. Couldn't spring the goalie there. Tried to see if I could avoid that ice, but I could not. Chase Chris Coltis to the side. Oh, oh. Nice pass. Oh, my. Again, doesn't really matter. We're going to win this game, but. And uh, they had pretty good puck possession towards the end of this one, which is kind of annoying. So obviously we don't have, I feel, I still feel like we don't have a whole lot of speed. That's our biggest kind of thing right now. Um, I hate these. I don't like these. Maybe we'll use bribery. As long as it doesn't screw me, I hope. We've used it before and it just followed, the ref just followed me around trying to check me. Hopefully it works as it's intended to right now. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. If it can get in the way of our opposition here, it might actually help. But um, if they are going to follow us around and check us like they have before, it's not going to be obviously any benefit. But none of them really would be. The only other one that I kind of considered was Lifeless Branch there. But I don't feel like we get checked and knocked down all that much, so I don't know how much it's really going to make a difference. Nice to get a talent there. Quick two seconds. That might be the fastest one we've ever had. Puckless Rocket. Love it. Who do we need to give speed to? Um, 
I want it on our winger. As much as Kowalski really needs a speed boost, I want to have our other winger kind of up in the play here, so we'll put it on Stu. Training shot power again on these guys, so that's not that beneficial. You can see we're starting to get some filthy shot powers here, but again, unless we have the accuracy and speed to really kind of follow that up, it's only going to be so beneficial. But let's pop into this Mountaineers game, see if we can mercy these guys. It'd be pretty sweet. We're kind of half on mercy and half off mercy, so we'll see. I was feeling pretty good about our team at the very beginning. Not that I'm feeling bad about it, but uh, what we felt like was a speedy team at the beginning, ever since we lost those two kind of talents that we weren't chasing, definitely lost out on some opportunities there. Nice to get that one. Markable Rock counting that one for two. Goes to the time, get to double the time. Or, uh, going to reduce the time that we're playing this game. So we have them on a timer right now, essentially, is what that's doing. Mountaineers don't typically score on us anyway, so we're in pretty good shape already, but I'm going to just kind of run this one out, as, obviously, as quickly as possible. The flat was there. Life was branch would have been pretty sweet, but Chloe get out of my way. Didn't happen. She was kind of just buried in the net there for some reason. Frankfurt, what's going on, my guy? Had a pretty good run with him last time. Again, it was a little slower. He wasn't super offensive, but he does have really quick uh, speed. And uh, shot power was pretty much through the roof. Plus, his gra grapple hook's pretty cool. Good couple of shot opportunities there. We're shooting a lot all of a sudden. We just can't get anything to go. Goalie had a pretty good period there, I feel like. 18 to 1 for shots, so we were just burying them, but the goalie just said no. Somehow lost that puck off the draw, but able to get it back. The referee just wants to kill me again. Why? What's your problem? There he goes. Now he's following them, I think. I kind of forgot about that, honestly, until uh, he very clearly singled us out there. Looks like he still wants a piece, so I'm not sure what this guy's issue is. Magnet on, but I wasn't all that close to be able to bring it into us here. Holy Crockett, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Weak little shot. Angus tried to clean that one up. Cool, he still said no. So it's a good thing right now for whist Whistle of Time because, I mean, we would be uh, kind of just plugging through these games right now. Nothing really quick. We're not mercying all of the stuff. So. Wow, that was a crazy shot. I'm pretty sure the only reason we got like that is because of that grapple hook probably screwed the goalie's eyes up there. I didn't know where I was shooting, so guaranteed he didn't either. But nice to get that one. Again, it's not going to matter. I don't think we're going to get out of here any quicker. Stu had a nice little chance there, but obviously 3 nothing. Had to play the entirety of the game, but Whistle of Time definitely helped us here. 31-7 to for shots. Couldn't do too, too much more than that. Let's put Redirector in. Put it on... Chloe Crockett, just in case. She has actually shots, so nobody's going to be able to kind of take that away from her. More checking. These uh, camp stats are really kind of screwing us here. We haven't really gotten, we've only gotten that one speed node. We haven't gotten anything for accuracy. It's just been shot power and checking. So the least kind of desirable attributes are the ones that we're pumping through camp, so that does not help. Even if it does kind of round out our overall a little bit, they aren't all that beneficial. I'd rather have a lower overall and have a higher um, shot accuracy and speed. I'd rather have my stats kind of be buffed up where it actually matters. But um, we'll see. Kind of with the shot power in mind, see if we can get some guys clapping some bombs. I keep forgetting that we have curveball on one of our guys here. I don't know who that's on. Kirby, maybe? It looked like he had a little bit of a curve shot there. I can start to get my player out. Shot. Having a hard time getting these rebounds right now, though. Nice check on Eddie or Ozzy. He was dope last time when we played with him, too. Another really good superstar. Okay. Pass that into somebody who's dancing. I almost pulled that into our net with Magnet, so that was almost a uh, very funky play that killed us. <clears throat> Really just, again, hoping for this first period goal here. There we go. 
nicely able to get that. I really didn't want to pull that into the second period, take the chance, and Disco gets the first goal, because if I had to call that back, um, I really want to be able to use this briefcase against the golfers, but uh, not going to not gonna be an issue here, I don't think. Nice shot. Again, we're getting these rebounds just always trapped in the legs. They're spitting out to us. We don't have any rebound perks, but all of these rebounds for the, gen for the rebounds that we're generating are just coming out into the legs. So we're having a hard time cleaning them up right now. It's kind of annoying. Really missing out on our second chance opportunities here. You see another rebound kind of deflecting into the, lane, into the corner there. This one the goalie just sat on and was able to shut that down. <coughs> You've got to be really careful when you use magnet in and around your net. I used it just in case they were to bump. Um, ooh, there we go. In case they were to uh, lose the puck from us bumping them off. But matter that time. That check. Let's bring Angus in. Uh, got a little rebound chance there, but just couldn't bury Chloe. I shouldn't have slapped that one. Probably should have just had a weak wrist. Almost deflected that one off her neck. Good shot from Stu. Let's get out of this one for nothing. Let's see what we get here for an artifact. Four. Okay, yeah, odd fungus for sure. Just like that. So we have a camp or a challenge game. Let's go camp. Shot power again. Oh. So we have actually some reasonably high overalls, but again, it's because everybody's shot power is so high. That's not that big a deal. Got some reasonably good accuracy, but I would much rather. Like, this is easily the slowest team that we are bringing into the golfers game. So it's kind of scary. I feel like speed is the biggest reason that we've been winning against these guys before, so it's going to be interesting to see how that shapes our play this time. Probably, I would imagine, a low-scoring game again from us, but very thankful that we have the briefcase um, still intact to be able to use. Very lucky with Odd Fungus that we were able to get additional speed on those passes on Angus there. He was able to bury. Very seldom is he going to miss. Already having remarkable rock off of the beginning of this game is super helpful because we already have a lead. It's going to, again, enact the whistle now. And, again, we have some padding. We have the briefcase here to be able to shut these guys down a little bit. Now we just basically have to play. But you can see how much slower we are. We weren't even close to be able to do, to do anything there. Good little shot. Hoping that the magnet's gonna help us pull this out of sand and stuff sometimes, but yeah, our speed is hurting right now. I'm gonna call this one back just to give us a chance to actually use this. I don't want to take a chance right now that uh, they're able to keep building on this. So, but you can see our speed is getting us in trouble right now. Our speed is definitely getting us in trouble. Got a couple of blocks there. Fortunate to get those. Oh, Chloe, how did you not get that? Wow, they were just throwing bombs there. Oh. Okay. Let's see how this one's gonna go now. Keep Magnet on. Keep Angus with possession here. Just gonna keep controlling the puck right now. I don't want to be super defensive, but I do want to have possession. You can see. So it's a good thing that we had Remarkable Rock and that we were able to have that briefcase because this is a much closer game. We do not have the speed to be able to keep up with these guys. The camps really screwed us in giving us things, honestly, that we did not really need. We're having a hard time getting in front of the golfers to be able to take away their chances right now. Ooh. That's rough. They get another quick one, so this is going to be pretty crazy finish here. We don't have any advantages now. Nice to be able to get one back. Very quickly, Chloe Crockett. Again, that opportunity only came because Odd Fungus gave us that little bit of additional speed there that we needed to be able to complete that play. Otherwise, these guys are very, very um, good at catching up and just kind of dictating play with their speed. 
just, they are able to transition so fast and we don't have anybody around ever. Very kind of scary here. Even Chloe, probably our fastest skater or second fastest, does not seem to be, okay, she was pretty good there when she didn't have the puck. But uh, having big time, ooh, curveball help, big time. Nice random curveball shot from Kirby, gets it in on the net, gives Chloe a chance to clean up the garbage there, and still another two goal lead, that is huge. We were having a rough one so far, again, you can see bribery, I don't think he's really doing too, too much to help us here, not really doing much in the way of checking them. From what I can see anyways, he's not doing too much in kind of getting in front of the plays for us at all. That was a good check though, takes away that other um, option up at the front of the net, so. That check was helpful. Go one more period. Didn't even pay attention to shots, but I'm pretty sure I saw one in front of us there. So easily the least amount of shots that we've taken through two periods of play against the golfers. Um, again, I feel like this kind of play, or this run really lost its steam when, uh, when we had those camps just kind of giving us stats that aren't all that helpful. You can see, we got a redirect goal there from Chloe. I did not think that touched her, but apparently it did. But we'll take a redirect goal. I'm very surprised that the goalie was able to get back in the net to be able to save that shot there. But they did. Nice tackle there by our goalie to save probably a goal. Chloe again. Try and get in on this. Ooh. See curveball killed us there. I definitely thought that was going to come out to the other person. I was trying to take the, take them out of the play, but curveball just kind of buried us and around the goal there. Whistle of time is going to help us. Hopefully, round out the rest of this game here. All of a sudden, we're getting some chances in behind the net. Just trying to take out these people, even with all the checking bonuses. Like these guys are still very hard to take down. So. A lot of kind of useless stats that we got through camp this time. Very disappointing. Took away our speed. Took away the opportunity for some additional accuracy there. But again, just the speed I feel like is the biggest, uh, the biggest detriment here. It's a good thing that we got Odd Fungus because we would have been very slow. But a 5-3 win. Going to conclude this run with Chloe Crockett in under 50 minutes. 31-14 to 14 for shots. Continue filling out our mural here. You can see Chloe just light, lit up. So it looks like we got a couple of guys left here. Let's quickly, we don't can't spend the rubber on anything, so we're gonna just quickly bump into another casual run, see if we get a superstar here that we can use. We have Magnet, Headshot, Redirect. Let's use Magnet. I don't think any of those are really gonna help or hurt us. The only one that we have not used here so far is Sergey. You can see that his checking is phenomenal, but his speed and accuracy is hurting. He has the headshot redirect also, but we're going to go ahead. Sergey Lancelov, let's go, brother. Our bench warmer, Stevie Lauder, is a G. Accuracy on Mark Bench is not good, and speed and accuracy on Charlotte Chapstick is scary, so not the most well balanced here. We're going to go ahead, take rigged face off. Hopefully we can get rare berry relatively early in this play. I'm thinking with this one, we're going to need to count on talent a little bit more just because we relied very heavily on the camps last time and we just were not getting the stats that we needed. So let's see how we can do this one. Again, to be able to complete an entire run in about 40 minutes is pretty good. This one's likely going to be a little slower just based on our superstar option and our bench warmers don't have speed. We're gonna need to pick up speed, and again, I don't trust the camps right now. Rubber Idol, also, we did not get at the very beginning here, or Can of Worms, so there's nothing really to incentivize us to go the camp route, so we're gonna play these challenge games and hopefully get our bonuses this way. Um, I like Express Delivery, significantly increase the speed of the passes. Let's put it on our fastest defender here, Mark Bench. Because again, knowing about the transition game, we are likely going to be kind of receiving the majority of our passes from him for breaking out. We don't want checking, so let's go three overall on players to continuously balance um, the boost of accuracy and speed. Pop into this first elite game here against Top Cheese. 
Again, Magnet isn't really that helpful of a skill. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not that helpful. Good little shot there from Lancelot, but we're not going to be relying on him for too, too much. Again, if we can get him fast, that is going to be meaty because his checking is through the roof. He shouldn't really be able to be taken down, and he should be able to go through anybody that we put him up against because I don't see how anybody would have higher checking than him. But uh, he's going to need speed, though, to be an option at all. He's going to need speed. Sergey, nice shot. I don't know how he's not knocking people down with one hit. That's honestly baffling to me. We have Magnet here. That helped pull um, the puck out of the front of our net there. But uh, oh, a little bit of accuracy on that shot would have been awesome. Good chance. Kind of buried in behind here right now. Nobody can scoop this up. Okay, Stevie Louder did. Should double check if Stevie Louder is our winger. Honestly, I keep kind of forgetting to check those lineups based on stats, but they're really lucky that we were able to get in front of Cam Amber there. Nice little takeaway there. Nice shot by Angus to give us the first goal of the game. Again, we don't have Remarkable Rock here, so our, go our first goals are accounting for one. We don't have Whistle of Time, so... It's just standard time here. But hopefully can pick up some of those talents relatively soon. Really just hoping for some speed talents though. There we go. Angus brought his A game. Sniper game on this one. Ooh, nice little redirect. Angus with a quick hattie. Just as we're playing through here, guys, if you're watching this one, just want to let you know that we do really, truly appreciate it. If this is the first one, the first video that you guys have spent kind of watching with us, super stoked that you were able to find it. We've got many more tape-to-tape -tape videos. If you want to see kind of how we've progressed to this point, definitely go through those videos. We've got probably a little over 20 videos now that uh, probably wet your whistle a little bit, but again, just kind of show you how we've gotten to this point. If you've been following along through our other videos, truly appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please do your support really does go a long way for uh my brother and i just kind of chugging through this channel and just really trying to play some games that we enjoy share with you guys what we're learning some tips to help you play and we really just enjoy the conversations that uh, we've been able to have with you guys about uh, a game or games at least that we all are enjoying at the time so again if you haven't definitely consider subscribing friendly frenzy games we have so many games so many videos on our channel here and just look to really kind of keep up the momentum that we've been getting recently so just looking to continue creating content for you guys and again it's been super beneficial having everybody along for the ride here so just like this obviously with rocket skates we are easily going to put this on Lancelot because he's going to get an additional 50 speed here so he's going to be up to 76 all of a sudden he is the quickest skater that we have on the ice he's going to lose some agility but again I don't need this guy doing spin deeks. I just need him to be a wrecking ball. So if he's going to be able to fly around the ice with 122 checking, and I mean, honestly, the biggest thing is just not being a, a detriment on the on the ice as a winger. Um, that's going to be super beneficial here. So you can see he's uh, tracking down. Oh, my God. That was almost so bad. But anyways, he was tracking down Mark Bench there. Ooh, I guess nice little sloppy. Here we go, 21 seconds, we're gonna get another talent. Pretty sure we would have lost the opportunity at a talent already. We uh, got pretty beat in some of these games before. X-ray shot, let's put it on Angus, just to make sure that his shots aren't getting blocked. Doing an elite game against Greasy Lettuce. They're gonna make us earn this artifact, but I'm fine with that. Hopefully it's really gonna be a big boost to the team here. So we're, I forgot that we have uh, always, I forgot that we have Rick Faceoff on, so super sweet. Really hoping to get Rare Barry at this point, because I mean, if we're winning every faceoff, it's gonna be nice to have that overall boost. Wow, a couple of weird chances there. I'm pretty sure that guy just smacked it through the net to hit it up over the glass, but I'm not gonna say anything because it looked like it was a goal. The game didn't register it. Bench, purple helmet guy, nice flatten. Mm. Let's go, Sergey. 
That was a wired one. Not much of a chance after that, though. Angus, good slap. Nice. Ooh, there we go. Hit that one off the face using Lancelot's uh, headshot redirect there. You can see, I didn't really have any way to get the puck up to him, so I saw a little bit of space with Angus and was able to just kind of use um, his head to redirect that, so that's cool. If we didn't already get the achievement last one, um, we would have had it on that. All you need to do is just score a goal with that ability, so very cool to have done that again. Nice to see that it is somewhat of a viable option there. Steve Louder, as you can see, contribution save. Almost had another one there with Angus. Felt pretty good about that one, but didn't want to go. Calvin tried chasing him down to flatten this guy, but not going to happen. They had a really good setup there. They kept dodging our checks. Stevie, too weak to probably shoot from there. Not enough power. Not enough power essentially translates into not enough shot speed, at least as I interpret it. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Good chance for Mark Bench. I'm surprised. Be able to rip it there. Good little chance again. Just a little weak one. So again, we are not feeling very offensive at this point. Pretty slow game right now, but again, I feel like that's kind of what Act One usually feels like, unless you're unless you're able to start with something very strong. Possibly a star to get 20 speed on everybody would be. Pretty sweet, but we did not get that. Nice shot. Get out of my way, ref. Charlotte. Ooh, wow, sorry, Stevie. Never meant to hurt you. That's a good shot. Wasn't much of a chance, but it was a good shot. No rebound, though, that kind of sucked. We didn't have anybody down there to pick it up anyway, so no love lost there. Ooh. Good couple of rebounds there from Sergey. Good pass out from Sergey there too. There we go. Finally gets a goal. He deserved that one. He was putting in work. Had an initial shot, a rebound opportunity, a couple of solid passes, another good couple of whacks at it. Yeah, you're not going to get a second one in this game, I don't think, buddy, but. Oh, I forgot he did. Oh, no, he didn't. He did basically uh, set up the first goal there with a headshot redirect. So this one back over. Made it up. Ooh. Good backhand. That would give us a different angle there. That's what happens when you can't check the big man. 4 nothing. Got a Mercy Goosey Lettuce. That's kind of nice. Skip out of this game pretty quickly. Still took us... Partially through the second period there, but 29 to 4 for shots. Rare Barry, thank you very much. So we're going to synergize that now with um, rigged faceoffs. Again, at this point, obviously we are going very talent heavy. So let's pop into this challenge game and see what we can get from this one. Hopefully, something. Let's see, we're glowing green because of that overall bonus that we're getting from Rare Barry. It's only going to last 15 seconds, but 20 overall is very hard to pass up, especially when you have the ability to win every faceoff. Automatically. You can see already 15 seconds have gone by. We don't have our bonus anymore. Kind of put it puts a damper on things. But let's see what we can do here. Nice to get a talent. Steve Lauer. Those glasses. I think the guy's got X-ray vision here. One nice thing is that when all of these. Um, Runs are done. We're going to have a lot of rubber for whatever they actually implement in the game after. Rebound Magnet is pretty much our best option here. So let's go ahead and put that on the Shaggy too. It's not going to generate rebounds, but any rebounds that do come out are going to come um, kind of towards McShaggy there, which is pretty sweet. Again, he has X-ray shots, so it's going to make it that his shots are not getting blocked by people. So that's going to be any shot that he takes, obviously, and then rebounds as well. So super helpful. 
Stevie Lauder almost got in there and screwed the goalie up, but again, he doesn't have enough on him to really make his shots all that threatening right now, but nice to be able to get a couple of quick chances. Ooh, that one almost squeezed through. Did not want to play that to the goalie. Oh my God, I got so lucky. Pass it into the ref that isn't technically on their team, but plays like he is. He loves to hand pass. He's scored on us before that way. So glad that his accuracy is bad and that this is on casual because otherwise that would have gone in for sure. That was just a big flood on my, on my end there. Nice one, Sergey Lancelov. Let's go, buddy. Again, so this one, we got the first goal of the game, but they're not calling it back. So we'll just take advantage of that. Obviously, with a good face off there, we're going to take advantage of this additional overall bonus and just see if we can keep slapping our way through. Gary's having a tough time saving on that side, so we'll see if we can keep exploiting that for now. I don't know how they won that. That is not a rigged face off if I've ever seen one. They should not have won that because we are to win every face off automatically. But we've got enough of a lead that I'm not tripping too much about it. Angus is just coming to bury these guys anyways here. Cats are getting thrown all over the ice. I have the magnet ability activated, but again, you gotta watch me a little closer than that. I probably played that and turned it on a little closer than I should have, because all of a sudden it's gonna pull it in randomly. Nice slap again from Sergio. There's a nice tight, nice tight pass from uh, Stevie. Okay. Okay. How's your head there, dude? Get that puck right in the side of the ear. Good chance. Very close. So that one too. We're just going to keep slapping until they let this one in. Gonna blow the head apart. Very close to getting out of this game with only in only one period. It'd be really sweet if we did. Obviously, rebound magnet gives us a chance there. Ooh. I'm going to put magnet magnet on now. Doesn't help. Do not want this to go mark bench. Here we go. Put magnet on again. Magnet magnet. And we mercy the officials. So nice to get some mercies here. We only took um, about two minutes of that first game. So we'd be able to clutch that one in under a period is super nice. 24 to one for shots. Ooh, we're talent heavy on this one. I don't want to do can of worms, even though we essentially have two more acts to get through. Let's get 20 accuracy on our bench warmers here. I don't plan on going to the camps all that often with this. Talents have been working out for us so far here. Going to hopefully get all of our stat bonuses through the talents. But uh, a 20 boost on accuracy through rubber band should be pretty, pretty good. Again, it's not going to affect our superstars here, so Angus is not going to receive that bonus. Lancelov is not going to receive that bonus. But good shot. Very risky play that I just did there. Another stupid one. There we go, Lancelov. Nice rebound cleanup, sir. Okay. So pretty good, we're already on our second run. We're already in through our second act here, or working through our second act. And I'm gonna put X-ray shot on Lancelot. He's got decent shot power here, so I don't want him getting blocked. Three overall, Crusaders. Let's put the little man Prince Tristan down here. Lancelot is against his hometown heroes. Took a lot of heads off on that one. Gonna try and ride this bonus out a little bit here. Mark Bench, obviously. Oh, we were very close. Couldn't take that angle, though. They're turning that one away. Flying shoulder check. Good shot from Lancelot again. Nice and powerful. He's gonna suck on a on easy stick, though. Cup Cultist is gonna be a rough one because I just feel like all I can do is slap with that guy, so I'm gonna try and have to, I'm gonna have to try and do some wrist shots or something. Nice little backhand though. Gave him a rebound opportunity that we just couldn't scoop. Charlotte Chapstick, ooh, another good quick shot there. Having issues, we gotta get, there we go. 
go. Flying shoulder check from Charlotte Chapstick. Pretty slow, but was able to get into the lane there. We knew where he was going to go. We just didn't know if we would be able to get there. Getting lots of shot opportunities on these guys. Obviously, the goalie is not having our stuff right now, though. Don't know where this puck is. Buried in behind the net somewhere. I don't know if it's behind the goalie's leg, but uh, that's a bug. Yeah, it's about time we blow that one dead. I'm starting to go cross-eyed a bit there. Nice shot. Good chance. That was a, a weird one. Good chance. Oh, if that was just... That came out just a little bit more. I think having rebound magnet on and just screwed us there because he was on the other side. So it was coming out on that one side and then it ended up getting pulled the other direction. We are shooting a lot. We can't really do too, too much more than we are right now, honestly. That was a pass. That ended up looking like a shot. Angus got in the way of the goalie there. Our computer looked like he was going to check Tristan and didn't, so we had to take matters into our own hands. Good shot again. Doesn't seem like the goalie wants to deflect that puck at our night, so that's an interesting development here. 20 shots to two. We were just pelting these guys, but uh, no holes in the armor there. Sure. There we go. Nice little shot. It was a weak as hell, though. Get Magnet to scoop that puck back up. Wow. What are you doing? That was my bad pass, but I hate when the goalies force me to make a pass. I'd rather him just stay in the net, let me use my speed and come back and get, get that puck. Good check. Check again. Oh, I didn't realize actually that the goalie had that. Nice shot. Not enough power to put a really a whole lot of speed on that though, but I'm trying to just take what we can get here. I'm surprised. That magnet, I don't know what tripped us up there, but that magnet was coming in pretty clutch there. That was a re What? Uh oh. That's not good, guys. We got a minute to make something happen here. We gotta rely on our overall. That's scary. A fluky goal might actually end this run. Wow. Oh, no way. going on here the wheels are falling off this one really quick we had a really good setup I was feeling pretty good about this honestly but uh, wow thank you Angus okay 16 seconds to tall order here but not impossible oh what the hell why are you flat no! Wow. Oh no! Oh! No! Wow! We couldn't have done anything in that. I just feel like, I mean, they took two really lucky, just chancy shots. 36 shots to five. Our goalie let in the only two shots that we had seen since the first period. Wow, that sucks. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Nice to see that you can still lose in casual, but damn, we shelled those guys. That's tough. That's tough. We're gonna hop into another run here and see. This one is obviously gonna go a little longer than two hours here, but I really wanna keep this to, okay. We're gonna abandon this run because we can't really, there's no point in proceeding with these. Too bad, we got some solid bed, bench warmers there. But obviously all of those superstars we've already won with. Had some pretty good options at the very beginning there. But we are going to abandon this run. Because again, there's nothing to gain from doing this one here. So let's abandon this run. And see if we can't get somebody that we haven't won with. Uh, put Magnet on again. Okay, here we go. 
The only one out of these guys that we haven't won with so far is Buckwurst. So let's go ahead and try this out. Looks like Angus is crazed uncle here. So you can see we've got a little lower accuracy on Charlotte Chapstick, a little lower speed on Buster Brewster. We'll have to make sure that Freddy Kowalski is our winger. Ah, oh, that one was going not bad. I can't believe though that way that that game went. I cannot believe that those two weak goals. Damn, that's disheartening. That is disheartening. So all of the time that we made up in our first run there is uh, kind of circumvented here by by uh, that loss of that round. Wow, there's a loss of that run. So already I realized that I forgot to put uh, Freddy on our win, but we're gonna want it. I also wanna see which um, talents we got with Companion Puck on our people here. So that might adjust actually who is where in our lineup. I hate these. Wow. We're going to do ball chaser. It's basically the opposite of puck repellent, and I don't want anybody to be playing without a stick because I want to make sure that we have the ability to pass and shoot with all of our players here. So ball chaser, very counterproductive, but I'm going to put it on our, our highest checker that is not a superstar because I don't want to take them out of the play. We'll put it on Charlotte Chapstick here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put it on Fred Kowalski. He has the random shot pat. Oh, no, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Put it on Chapstick. We're going to take her off the wing anyway, so we'll have our defender chasing everybody around. Totally fine with that. Put Freddy on our wing. I don't know if I want that either, though, because he's going to have... Ran Actually, it's fine. It's going to be interesting. He's either going to have really good shots or really bad shots, but I mean, essentially what this one's going to do, wild shot, randomizes the power and accuracy of every shot. So, I mean, he could be 100 and 100 on one. We don't know. I don't want to mess around with events, so let's go camp. Okay, let's train eight speed on everybody. I'm good with that. Got to get everybody quick here. Oh, God, I can't believe we lost that one. We're something so stupid. And it's not even the Prince. We had, we did a great job taking the Prince out of the play. The Knights, they weren't even scoring on their abilities. It was just two weak ones that they let in, that our goalie let in. That hurts. We did a very good job controlling that play, controlling that game. We just could not get it in. So if we remember from before, um, Buck, Buckwurst here is pretty well balanced. Um, he's not spectacular in any one thing, but he does have a pretty good balance of his attributes here. So, yeah, nice little quick grip. Start us off on the right foot here. Try and make up some time. Still can't get over that loss. A good couple of deflections there. Well done going off with Charlotte. And, uh, and Angus. Nice shot. End up just keep getting slap shots right now from that same side. That's not what I want to be doing, but if we had a little quicker shot power on him, that would be deadly. Again, just kind of, he's at the same spot every time here. Thought that one was in, but that was just a really good glove. Mm -hmm. Angus, nice chance. Let's bring Angus again. That was kind of stupid because we got to the point where we did not have any room to shoot that. Oh, I thought we had that one. That was good. Ooh. Deflection. Almost parked just enough. Okay. Just back up to Buck. Whatever his name is. It's Buck. Oh, I did not realize that we had somebody there. Ooh, good chance. It's not going to count. Did not notice some shots were, but I feel like we've been all over them that game. Got to crush a couple of more in here. If we remember, he was uh, pretty decent too. Watch the game a couple of wins with him. Starting to play 
Just trying to bring that in a little tighter with uh, Angus, but then I ended up holding the pass button, so had to kind of pass back. Nice chance. Steamrolled. We got Magnet on um, Angus there. Good chance that ended up somehow knocking into this guy. Whoop. Just slapped it to keep it in. Getting some good chances again. But not enough to bury. Nice shot. Carlo Chapstick, let's get out of this game. Gotta make up some time. Really looking to make up some time here. 28 to 3. Quick draw. Let's go. Love it. We're going to put this on Angus. Wow. The guitar note. Don't know what happened there. But uh, quick draw on Angus. That's going to be super helpful. It's going to make his release quicker. He's going to shoot quicker. Again, if we can ideally get him a rebound ability, that'll be super nice. Nice goal by Freddy. I wonder if that was a low shot power, a high accuracy shot, hard to say, but he was able to just tuck that one. One shot, one goal, love it. Let's do curve ball on a high shot power defender here. He's also gonna have sonic boom or whatever that is, sonic shot. He's got 36 shot power for right now. Yeah, put that on booster. Give us the opportunity to maybe get him involved in the play and just kind of throw up a Hail Mary shot. Maybe get the goalie to bite on a curveball easier than a slap shot that's kind of just directly pointed at the pads. That was very close. Seemingly no angle shot, but it was very close. Uh, okay. Good chance, probably shouldn't have slapped it, but. Charlotte, come on now. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Charlotte got locked up in a slap shot. Wasn't even close to receiving that puck, and then it just sprung to Adam Brady. Again, because he's got the cherry picker ability, um, he was in behind the defense. We don't have the speed to catch up to him right now. Get out of my way. There we go. Nice to get that one back. Tired of these guys scoring on me. I still cannot get over that crusader game. Again, it's nice to see that you can lose in casual, but that was a BS game. Especially since they got two. It's not even like we lost that one. We got two, just very weak ones. And it was both the only two shots that they had in the second period. I'm going to take my aggression out on the weak balls here. Curveball, nice. I thought that was a deflection off Angus. It wasn't. It was just uh, the curveball shot beat the goal there. Nice to get one there. Don't want to pass, but I was holding on the pass button. Oh, Charlotte, what are you doing? Overstated the puck. Adam Brady, he had the goalie beat. He had a weird angle on that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A couple of chances there. Use Magnet to get the puck from him. Still really got to be careful in and around our net, though. I keep using it stupidly, but... This guy, yeah. Tired of your stuff, my guy. Get out of my way. Oh, a nice little turnaround there, Angus. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Got a tow truck. Angus the tow truck there. Nice shot. No chance. Not enough, though. Ooh, I didn't want that. Oh, it would have been super sweet to pick up uh, pick up that rebound there. Get out of this game, but not going to happen. 23-4 to four for shots. Nice to have a lead, though. Again, our goalie is at a .75 save percentage, so it sucks. <laughs> but there we go. Let's get out of this hole. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh, yeah, right. 
Okay, so we got one more. There we go. Now let's get out of here. Let's mercy these guys. Pick up an artifact. Almost where we were. We were able to make up a decent amount of time and mercy on these guys. Gotta keep this ball rolling here. 26 to 4. I don't see us losing again. That was a very um, very unfortunate thing. Tribal Mask, I if that comes up again, I will pick it. But for right now, let's get our guys some checking. Let's pop in and get another talent here. Yeah, if Tribal Mask comes up a little later, I will pick it. Something that's very good against the golfers. But again, like you never know, I guess, really, when you're going to be down in this game. I still honestly cannot get over. I, I just feel like it was such a fluke. I don't see it happening again, but that's when it happens again is when you don't expect it. So you got to just kind of be careful what I'm saying here. Get leveled. Get leveled. Get magnet on. A couple of weak chances out there. <laughs> Thanks, Angus, for helping me make up some ground there. What the hell? Nice shot. Weak one though, but nice shot. Not gonna make me lose my talent. I'm fighting hard for this one. Okay. Gotta remember. Wow. The goalie. I don't know what happened there. He's still. What the hell? That was buggy. Something got screwed up there. He got yanked out of the net and then didn't even try really to come back. He was just thought he was guarding the net there, but he was guarding the circle. Okay. We'll take it. I've never seen that happen before. 10 to nothing for shots. Cannon arm. What do we need? Do we need shot power? Would not be the end of the world, I guess. No point in putting it on Kowalski because he has randomized, so that's not going to help us. Let's put it on worst. He doesn't really have a whole lot of shot power. He's got really good accuracy. Um, let's continue to boost him here. Oh. Cannon arm. Put it on him. Go into this game against the officials. Hopefully we can get the first game. Hopefully, or hopefully we can get the first goal. Hopefully they don't call it back. I'm hoping for a lot here, but I'm just really hoping to chug along. Again, I feel like this run has gone not too bad, all things considered. I mean, I knew we were going to be in thick with uh, Lance Lovitz just then. Still, honestly, cannot believe we lost that. Oh, wow. Bad play. Leave it alone, goalie guy. We would have been fine. Did oh! The rebound was coming out, but flattened. Putting the shots on. Already is quick. Oh god. Thought we turned that over before our goalie could actually get back in the net. That would have buried us too. Chances again. Oh. Nice shot. Goalie's gonna hold it again because he's scared for of us. He still has the randomize on, so not the most reliable there. Oh my god. I didn't want to pass up the ice because nobody was coming back. I didn't want to pass it to them. But uh, subsequently, I must put it in. They're not going to call that goal back. I don't know why, but I'm glad they aren't. Is it that I can get here? i really lucky that we blocked that one because that was a pretty gaping net on that side. Freddy got fingered again really quickly. Low accuracy. And the accuracy wasn't bad. I guess it was more so shot power. Good shot. You can tell though, we need shot power on him. It was pretty slow for a slap shot. Not very threatening of a chance. Take out that ref buddy there. Almost had that one picked off too, so I gotta really clean up my goalie passes here. I gotta. Get a little smarter. What is that? See if we can move in. There we go. Thank you, Angus, for making that one easier on me. 
weak shot. I didn't want to slap in that close. I thought a little uh, wrister would have sufficed. Taking out whoever we can take out there. Thank you, Angus, for chesting that one in. Body slam. That was a really good shot. Didn't expect a rebound from it, but super glad that we got him. Magnet. Wow. That one just kind of fucked out wildly. Ref, what do you want from me, brother? All right, pretty slow going first period. We have two, wish we had more. Had some shots, doesn't really feel like they've been all that great opportunity, but uh, had some shots. Nice. Shot power seemed crappy there, accuracy not so bad. Get one with him All of a sudden, nice Hattie. Okay. Angus again. There we go. A couple of spinners in front of the goalie. Got him wondering where the puck went. Just hold on to that guy's pants really quickly. Nice shot. Again, just too weak. So shot power will definitely help. Got to just keep winning some games here again. That permanent stat's going to help us because we're going to be playing these challenge games. So, in essence, there are more games to win. Don't score on me because I can't stomach more. Weak shot, but not a bad shot. Angus putting in a filthy goal from a stupid angle. Let's get out of this game. Took a little longer than our first time, but uh, all said, not bad. Probably through the second period, 26 to 5 for shots. Okay, after that Crusaders game, I do not have faith in my ability to continuously score first. Let's get Odd Fungus just to get our speed up first and see how this goes for a little bit. Remarkable Rock would be something that I'd be interested in more towards the end of this act, but we will see. As much as I want to chug through this um, playthrough, I want to make sure that we can at least get the win on the other side of it. So that's a little bit more important to me right now. I, in my head, did not commit to what I wanted to do there. So, not surprised that it didn't really work. Flip up to Angus. Good shot. Going a little too fast. He was hard to hit. Okay. A little speed boost. That's all we needed there. Good shot. Flattened out two guys there. Angus, he's going to be in there. Yeah, He's in the middle of saying he's burying that, but he shot even faster than I could get the words out of my mouth. Nice action there. Four shots. Do we want random skills? Sure. We're not really using skills right now, but I don't want less speed for checking. Go overall. Uh, yeah, could have done shot power. That probably would have helped too, but we'll go overall. Just continue bumping speed here princesses so the lead up for the revenge game against the crusaders continues we're about where we uh lost last time it only took us about 20 minutes to get here so actually it's pretty good actually maybe not maybe a little longer i don't really remember actually at what time we started playing this second run or this third run i guess at this point but i don't know i actually I'll just pull this closer ooh 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 I'm trying to rip that a little closer, but it didn't work. Okay. Sweet. Wow, that curved big time. Oh my god. Oh, we almost got that. Yes, goalie fun. It wasn't me this time. Super glad that it went out to Freddy, and I'm glad he had enough accuracy to bury that in behind him, because if it would have ripped top cheese, and uh, in the past, I would have been very upset. 
We see that uh, Freddy has the dash ability, so I'm going to try and make use of that because it's actually a decent one, but the majority of the um, skills that we've been getting to play with haven't been all of that um, game-breaking for us, so maybe on the odd chance we can keep rolling the dash for a little bit. That would be helpful. A little shot there. Almost made them screw it up again, but we did not. Oh, it looks like Magnet's effect... Uh, Sticks too, unless something else moved that. But not sure. Wow, he got home. Good chance. Good chance. Bunch of craziness happening right here. Get out of here. Come on, Angus. Try and flatten, but I can't. Brewster stripped that puck. Cool. Try to go short side with a slap. Did not work. We should not have tried to play the body there. Left our goalie pretty, uh, pretty well on his own. Tried to use the hook to get the puck. Did not work. 13 to 3 for shots. Do we have a goal? We do. Okay, that's good. Good shot. Good shot. I'm surprised the magnet didn't pull that puck to Angus earlier. Oh, oh, oh. Can't fire that one off. They tried. I'm not sure how I was able to get that through the cloud. I don't know if they just kind of timed it too late, but I don't care. I had magnet on trying to pull it towards me, but it did not work. Must have been too high. Out of reach. Ooh, I thought we were going to be able to get that one in behind the goalie there, but couldn't reach. Just trying to catch up to that guy, but couldn't get the grappling hook to hold on to anything. Oh, ho, ho. I made me blow that one off course. That one, too. Damn it. These guys hemmed into the corner. That's cool. Charlotte. Flatten. There we go. Playing the body on. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Come here, goalie man. What are you doing, my guy? Chance. Chance. Oh. You're just brutalizing these guys down in front. Sorry for the confusion here, everybody. That was uh, some pretty jumbled stuff. Another good shot. Thank you. Through the side of the net, I'm pretty sure. Jeez. That fart has saved them a lot. You can see we had a lot of chances in front of the net and uh, just a lot of broken plays. What are you doing over there? Should have went to Angus instead. I'm gonna barely squeak through with a 2 nothing win. So we are now further than we made it last playthrough. And uh, we will gear up to take on the Crusaders again. Let's do even Steven. We can afford a minus 10 on McShaggy here. Three boost, or a 30 boost when we are tied is gonna be super helpful too. Let's pick up another talent before we get into that Crusader game. Shouldn't have an issue with them the second time, but again, I mean, we could not have done too many, too much um, different that first time, so I mean, really can go either way. Oh, that was a good opportunity, but bad shot. I gotta take this Freddy guy with a grain of salt because he does have the random accuracy, so he's only so good, only so reliable. You better not steal that from me. Quick draw, ooh, and rebound magnet. 
gonna do oh we're gonna do quick draw as much as i want rebound magnet having quick draw on uh worst too should be super helpful Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Rebound Magnet is amazing with quick draw, but uh, the opportunity or the chance to have two quick draws is very, very enticing. Again, because we're just trying to inject some speed into these games without uh, raw attributes even. We got Disco Ball on uh, Freddy, so that's cool. That could be a big help. I'm trying to take Prince. Oh, no. Okay, we got really lucky that we didn't miss that check because... Uh, we're having a hard time corralling all of that there. But we got really lucky that we didn't miss the check with Angus. He was fast there. Quick little shot. How about that one? Right off the noggin there. We got three guys trying to smack up the Prince there and nobody was hitting them. That one took another head off. These guys are just in the way of all of our shots right now. Shooting a lot again <laughs> flying knuckle sandwich to this guy good little chance good little chance gotta watch with the slap shots actually I think they do that even for wrist shots though oh that's not good there we go you and me buddy There's another quick little shot from Angus there but Good slap again. Good opportunity. Okay, everybody caught up having a little sing song. What? Get out of here, my guy. Come on, clean up those rebounds. Quick draw, you can see, giving us a good chance there. But there. Wow, I thought that was in. There we go. Did not score on the Crusaders last time, so very nice to be able to just get in there, quick smack that one, quick draw. There we go. There we go. Add some insult to injury. How do you guys like that one? I'm going to just watch this replay because I'm stoked that we're getting a lead on these guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this one. They deflect it out. Angus' cranium is too strong. Lose a couple of sticks in the process there. Went through the goalie's legs, went through the ref's legs. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I sure did. I'm feeling fantastic after that. Really want to just murder these guys. Wow, that was close. Again, I went to play the body. Just taking some aggression out on these guys, but a couple of chances there. Hey, bud. Uh, I want to just shoot one more time. Not going to happen. 13 to 4 for shots. Okay. Liking that. Damn Crusaders. Ooh, that was nice. Eat it, ref. Tired of your stuff. That was nice. Got in there, messed the Prince up, have a couple of quick shots, nice little rebound picked up. Go to Chapstick, put in the work on that one. Mercy the Crusaders, as it should have been the first time. We shot less. They shot. What did they do? They shot one less. Okay. Rig face off would be really sweet, but I want to just make sure that we have the speed for that golf game. What do we have for overalls right now? Speed. Yeah, we definitely need more speed. Fossilized star, and our, we're still at under 50 for a lot of our guys here, so got to continue working on speed. I don't think we will get a chance to have Fossilized Star again. I don't think they let you double up on talents, or like artifacts, only talents. So we'll have to see, maybe we can get a Rocket Skates or something here. But uh, again, speed is gonna be a big time priority moving forward, so Fossilized Star as much as uh, Rick Face Off would have been pretty sweet just to ensure that we start with possession. We don't have Rare Berry as of yet anyways to really be able to make that super beneficial. I'd much rather a stat boost Again, because we aren't visiting camps and stuff right now, we're not going to have really any other opportunity unless we get it through talents. So it makes the most sense for our current playthrough to go that way. 
That was chancy. Had an opportunity to rob the talent there. Uh, goalie came and closed that out relatively quickly. I got him just in case we lose the puck here. Wanted that to pull to me. Oof. Whoa, whoa. That whole jumbled play ended up into a couple of good opportunities. Charlotte Chapstick, let's go. Turned out to be a really good option on wing. I believe we've said that before. She usually works out pretty well. Uh, we can go random skill, I guess, because we don't have Tomahawk, and I don't really care if we're on guard. Let's put it on. Chapstick. Wow, she's a winger, or she's a defender, and she's been up in the play a lot. Let's get her a skill. See what we can get here. Accuracy, sure thing. Accuracy never hurts. I feel like our accuracy wasn't too, too bad. I really wish that was speed, but we'll see. See how we fare against Cup Cultists. Shouldn't really have any issues in the Act 2 or in the Act 3 um, Elite games. Never really struggled with those. We struggled way more in the Act 2 Elite games, so we'll see. I'm pretty confident if we can make it to Act 3, it'll just be that goal for match. That uh, is always an interesting one, but hasn't really seemed to be too much of an issue, obviously, and uh, casual as of yet. But again, the Crusaders took us down last time, so there's no telling really kind of where that's going to go. You can see that because we have Dragon Shout unlocked as an ability, we were given Dragon Shout on Freddy. So that's cool. Use him in a pinch. Not exactly sure what Charlotte has right now. I pulled myself out of play, trying to get the body there. Okay, she's got Head Smasher, that sucks. But Dragon Shout could be pretty cool. If we ever get, wow. Okay, so that's nice. Blow those guys apart. Nice to be able to take away their defense and stuff all in kind of one shot there. You can see they're getting up before he does, so... Oh, I thought we got that, but we did not. Watch Kelly. She's got really good accuracy, too, so we don't want her shooting, if it's at all possible, to prevent it. Good chance. Good chance. Ooh. Pretty scary. Trying to just take away her shot. Okay, nice. Good chance there. Right, they have greasy stick. They have so many other things going on in this that I always forget they have greasy stick. Yeah, so the magnet does pull sticks in. Must be for effect because it's not really going to do anything. I forgot we have curveball on whoever that was who just shot. Uh oh. You don't want that. A breakaway with Calvin, who has amazing accuracy. Got lucky there. Nice chance. Sacrifice. That was just a one for one. We weren't able to pick up the puck, so that probably wasn't all that helpful. You see, they got a little bit of magnetism there, too. Oh. Oh. Two little chance. One nothing after one. Not a very convincing period by any stretch. Twenty-one to eight. Maybe shot enough, but Angus is taking this face off sideways. Slap it, but didn't really have a choice. Gotta finish that one timer. Same thing there, basically. Rory's coming flying. There we go. 
bomb that night. Turns out I killed my entire team. Goalie, I'm very surprised you can come out to play. Oh, that's why we're frozen too. Ooh, ooh, very close. Very close. Must be Buster who has curveball on. I keep forgetting that he does. We'll try and get that from uh, a little further back here, see if we can get a good curve shot. Oh, ho, ho. what an angle. I don't know how we didn't bury that one. Angus is glitching face, face offs for sure. I don't know what his deal is there, but. Put Magnet on. Shouldn't have. Oh, ho, ho. that was just sweet. Got a nice little spin out of that. Avoided those defenders popping in. And then a just nice little bank shot off the back. A little deflecting goal there. Or a little deflecting shot. I'm surprised we didn't get that. Shot there. Shot the trap coming in nice and fast. Almost had the opportunity to get our own rebound there, but we did not. Okay. Kelly, nice shot. So we're not getting out of this one any quicker. We're gonna get six to Mercy though, so we gotta get another. We got we need another three. Because they have one, so. We need to put on quite a scoring show at this point. shots, 50 shots in two periods. We've only scored six goals. Wow. Missed that one. Or, uh, missed that rebound. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. 7-1. Hat trick, hat trick, hat trick. Let's go to act three. Could have been there and done by now. 54. Yes, we were doing this one time. When we have the lead, we want these games to go quicker. Challenge game. Don't mind if I do. Curious actually what our guys overalls are looking at looking like right now. I don't know what our uh, worst guy, Frank Worst or whatever his name is, Buck Worst. I wonder what his shot power is at right now. Dragon shot again. Nice to rip a little shot there from Angus. Another two seconds. Very quick talent. Okay, we can get 30 tracking. This is going to hit opponents without the puck in the offensive zone or automatically seek people in the defensive zone. I think we already... Okay, home marker was our last playthrough. Okay, well, we're going to put this one on anyways. 30 checking on a defender here. Let's put it on Brewster. He was our worst checking defender. Their overalls are not that great, if I'm honest. We've already kind of neglected our camp, so let's hopefully get a good talent in this challenge game and continue pumping up his shot power by winning yet another game. Hoping to get um, rocket skates or something here that's going to be a considerable talent or a considerable attribute boost to make our overalls better than they actually are on paper. Nice little deflection goal there. Buck worse, three seconds. Nice to be able to finish two challenge games in five seconds. That's what we like to see. What do we get here? Curveball again. Okay. <clears throat> Don't really have a choice, but. 
We'll put that on Kowalski because on the odd chance he gets 100 shot power and accuracy. I think with that though, I want to take him off the wing because all of a sudden he can't rely on him as much. So let's switch those up. Charlotte Chapstick is now going to be our winger here. Try this out on Cafe Disco. All things considered though, like, I mean, realistically, we probably would have been able to have both runs finished in under two hours. I mean, we are just under two hours right now, and we basically had to start a completely fresh playthrough. It was pretty good. Because, I mean, none of these have been overly offensive. But, uh, I mean, our first playthrough, again, obviously had uh, the most going for it in terms of being able to just really trim down time. Obviously, we have Whistle of Time again, which is going to be awesome because we are playing with the lead right now. Remarkable Rock would have been sweet, but again, I, after losing that last one, I did not want to take the chance that we were going to be behind two after letting in a small, weak one. Whoop. Didn't think they were still dancing. We have Dash here on Kowalski. Okay, so when you're using Magnet, and Angus goes to make a pass, it doesn't really go anywhere. It makes total sense, but again, you gotta kind of try it to know for sure. Nice one. I don't remember if she has curveball. I think she does. That ended up working to our benefit, though. Yep. Whoop. Okay. Two goals, ten shots. Liking what we're seeing. Shot. Didn't have anybody on the right side to be able to snag that up though. Don't know how we did not hit that guy. Grappling hook is definitely hard to like hook people. But I do like it. Pretty sweet. There are definitely worse skills in this game. Especially if you factor in their cost. Wow, bad pass. Goalie dancing on us. Wow, wow, wow. Flying hip check. They are dominating this play all of a sudden. Just gonna close this one out now. Like that. Oh. Oh. There we go. It doesn't really matter. Elite game. Another tight, tight one though, two nothing. But uh, we'll take it. Fifteen to four. I don't like these at all. Stays between his own net and the closest enemy skater. So we have. We'll put that on Buster. I think he's our best defensive defender. Our overalls are not good. So our talents better be enough to pull us through here. Otherwise, we are going to be in for a challenge against the golfers. We don't have the briefcase. Mind you, we don't have the remarkable rock either, so it's a good thing and a bad thing. Obviously a good thing that plays to our advantage, but we don't have to play with the pressure of them getting the first goal. So not so bad. New director here. Or do you think? Yeah, let's... I don't know. I don't know. We'll put McShaggy. We'll put McShaggy in front of the man here. I feel like we're shooting more with the worst. But I don't know. That could be the wrong call. Again, a lot of these talents, I'm feeling like they aren't really going to matter who we really put it on. They have rare berries that are boosting their overall right now. Bad pass. God. Direction at all, but he's kind of standing in front of the net, looking to clean that kind of stuff up. Quick draw, 
is a nice little addition for that because you're going to be able to just kind of flick it in nice and quick. Ooh, grappling hook screwed him up there, though. We have Magnet here on Charlotte, which is cool. Also have, wow, they pulled me out of the play there. We are getting pulled around everywhere right now. shoot really quickly there. Oh. Okay. See how the second one goes. Again, this team is not overly offensive. Again, like we're having issues scoring goals and mercying opponents, so... to score many against the golfers, we just need to score one and hang on. Hoping our speed is a lot better than our um, overalls are reflecting because we're going to be in tight again if we do not have that as an option. We're having a tough time scoring our way out of holes right now. Come on. Check. I thought I had him. Hopefully this ref, ooh, I don't like any of these. We'll do referee rumble. Just because with how many tomahawks and stuff are flying around in this last game and checks and stuff, speed, I'm hoping that the referee is going to be down. If he is, our entire team is going to get 20 overall. Um, can of worms isn't really going to help. And I, zebra hoof, I don't want the goalie just kind of getting in and interrupting our plays, even though sometimes he is helpful. I don't want him um, taking away potential plays that we've set up, so. Nice to come away with this very last talent here. Just before our final boss game against the golfers. What do we get? Rebound, magnet. I don't like it. We do not have that on anybody. Okay, so we have McShaggy already looking to be at the front of the net to redirect, but we're also going to put Rebound Magnet on him. It's doubled with um, Quick Draw right now, so hopefully he will be able to get many, many chances there to bury. We do not have Briefcase with us this time, so we cannot call any goals back. I forgot to look at our overall, so I'm hoping, again, that our speed is going to be sustainable here. Having Dash to start this game as a bonus skill on our other winger, Charlotte here, is super nice. Just to be able to give us a skill that is going to be awesome to use. Oh, ho, ho, I thought that was in. I'm glad it wasn't, but... Oh, oh. Ooh, a couple of good chances there. A couple of good ch more chances there. You can see... Tried to take that person out with Tomahawk. Oh, that hurts. Curveball. Up and into the net. Oh, God. That hurts. Again, glad it's not uh, Remarkable Rock, though, because they would be drowning us for two right now. If we had Briefcase, could have called it back, but we don't. You can see all of a sudden McShaggy is buzzing there. He had quite a few opportunities. He used Magnet to pull that one out of the sky. Got really lucky that it wasn't all that close. Goalie got into a position where they almost had to make a play in behind the net there, but uh, they just held it and got a face off. 
tried using Magnet like we did the last time there to kind of pull the puck out of the air, but we weren't able to get it. Dash, we got a really good fast chance to open up a little bit of space there, but couldn't do anything. Not bury these shots on this team. There we go. Nice redirection from Angus. Thank you. We've come too far, and after losing that last run, I cannot stomach another loss on this episode. Our speed is feeling pretty good. If I'm being completely honest, the speed is feeling pretty good. I feel like we're able to keep up. It's just we are not burying our shots. Um, our chances haven't been all that quality. Oh, got so lucky with rebound. Um, with the rebound there. I don't know if they tried to curveball me on that last one. I don't know what shots are. I've got two trigger happy again. Just trying to keep this momentum going. Keep burying these guys again. We know we're going to get better this period. That was just a very really unfortunate bounce off the face out there. Almost on the cross in this big time. Oh, let's go. Keep slapping them in, boys. Let's go. We've got to bury what chances we have. Do not want to lose. Okay, that's stupid. Oh, 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 poetry in motion. Angus is just running, skating circles around these guys right now. That's going to suck. Okay. Got bailed out again. Oh, Angus. I love you, buddy. You cost me a lot of rubber over, the con over this. Oh, I thought we buried that. Angus has cost a lot of rubber, but he is paying off right now. Didn't know what way made the most sense to do that, but we got it. But no, we didn't, but I mean, maintain possession. I mean, whoop. Oh, we almost, oh, okay, I did, oh my god. Okay, so that helped. I don't know if that was the curveball or if because the magnet on Angus was still active. Must have been the curveball because Angus didn't get credit for the goal. But uh, something pulled that into the net there. The forces that be. Oh, ho, ho. tried to magnetize that. Did not work. Dash. Okay. Ooh. Curveball, but Angus redirected it. Just kind of standing in the front of the goalie there. So just like that, we're up 7 1. Pretty convinced we're going to end up taking this game. Shots 36 to 8. So we will have a second successful run on this episode. Thank God. I know we still have one period left to play, um, but I don't think the team is that bad that we're going to lose or that they are going to be able to score seven on us to win. I mean, some pretty dumb things have happened, but uh, not that dumb. Plays right out here again. I think. Do we have this little time going for us in this one? Yeah, it looks like it. I honestly don't remember, but it looks like it. Okay, good shot. Thanks, ref. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Wow, wow. We are getting beat up now. Holy, Pam Pumpernickel, Rosie O'Donnell was just slaying around the front of the net there. That was a rough one. Oh, yeah. 
curveball and all these in right now. Oh yeah, like that though. Angus, six goals, bring in some more hats. Yeah, I like that, there's just a line of them. Remember that, golfers. Remember that. Here we go, 8-2. Another successful run here. Very, very glad that we were able to complete another one, 41 and 27. Let's fill out our mural a little bit more here. Obviously, we are not getting Sergey Lancelot, but we do have uh, Bert Wurst, or I don't remember what his name was. It wasn't Frank Wurst. Who was that? I don't know. Buck Wurst. That's who it was, Buck Wurst. Awesome. So you can see, obviously, we've accumulated a decent amount of rubber again here. Um, we're going to call this the end of this episode. Thank you for sticking through um, these two and a half runs. Very crappy that we weren't able to finish with Sergei Lancelov, but that just means we're going to have to try him again. Um, we did everything we could in that run. They just kind of got to really squeaky easy soft ones by our goalie there and kind of defeated that whole momentum of that run but we were still able to pick up another two i don't even remember at this point who we used to to um complete those chloe and our buddy buck here so ultimately still got another two completed another two off the mural there but uh if you guys are still with us here thank you very much for any of the time that you spent with this video Definitely, if you've learned something, hopefully you did get a little bit of a chance to showcase some of these other superstars that you could be spending your hard-earned rubber on. Maybe get an idea of whether or not they're worth it to you or they're not. Hopefully, this video provided some value, though. If it did, give us a like, drop a comment, ask us any question. We will continue to converse with you guys through the comment section. Honestly, we love it. Definitely subscribe, Friendly Frenzy Games YouTube channel. We've got many more tape-to-tape -tape videos on there, as well as tape-to-tape -tape videos coming. We will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very, very much.